Hey and hello guys, welcome back to DevLabs.ai. So in this video, we are going to solve Google Workspace for Education Getting Started. So if you're new to this channel, please make sure to please like, share, and subscribe for more updates on DevLabs.ai. The saddest part is that guys, I'm getting the views but not any subscribers. So support me guys, and it would be motivated that uh, I could make more such solutions based on cloud solution as well as AI. So let me move to this uh, our lab and let me get started with this lab. So just now, let me log into a credential. Just copy your email username here and just open the email from over here so paste your email here and click on next year and copy your password here and click on here and paste it in click on next year and the next step is click on i understand here so after i understand please make sure that uh, below this um, wait for a few seconds so after this there will be terms and conditions here. accept the terms and conditions so now guys uh, let me move back to our lab and click on task number one so at task number one we want to create OUs means organizational units so let me move here and in the admin home page click directory organization organization uh, and uh, unit opens here and over the create name organization teachers okay guys uh, let me go here at the left side directory click on the directory and click on this organization units and just come back here and just copy this teachers without any full stop here copy this and just come back here click on create organization unit so paste it here and click on create so after that come back guys here and uh, repeat this step to once again to create an organization unit named students so copy this guys now uh, students so just copy this and uh, click on this create here so paste it here and click on create here so our students has been done here so uh, the next step is now create an organization unit at another level in the teachers uh, unit so create a history teachers unit so now guys uh, we must make that to uh, copy this history copy this and just uh, copy this uh, click on this uh, create organization unit and paste here click on create here so after that um, in the organization unit list over the over the uh, uh, history OU, the click the arrow icon and left and move to this organization unit dialog opens uh, click students continue indicate moving and click on move here so now guys uh, make sure that um, you must be in uh, history here at the right side you see this move organization unit here click on this so click on uh, students here and click on continue so now let me confirm this so let me click on here move so our uh, one of the step has been completed in this uh, lab guys so just come back and let me check our progress guys so click on this check my progress here so our uh, task might be completed here at the task number one so click on this once again because it is creating right now so it takes a time here so see you can see here in the history So now guys, uh, uh, let me delete this history here once here. So let me see it is given as here. So name the uh, unit and click on create the new history is under the teacher. Okay, we must create an organization unit under uh, teachers I think guys. Uh, yeah, so now guys uh, click on this press icon here and paste it here history here and click on create here so under this uh, we are going to create an organization unit, unit in uh, under history so now guys uh, let me move this organization unit to the students so after just click on this click on students here click on continue here so click on this move here so our organization unit will be uh, moved to our students so this one of the step has been completed let me check our progress once again here So guys, uh, our task number one has been completed here. So now guys, uh, at task number two, so click on this uh, main here and click on this users here. So now guys, uh, uh, type first name, add new user, type first last name and just come back here guys and uh, click on this add new user here. So let me keep first name as uh, dev labs and last name uh, might be ai so after this the, our uh, primary email will be created at automatically at dev labs so click on add new user here so after this make sure that uh, copy your username as well as password and save it in somewhere else uh, or notepad or else uh, near uh, or a new tab so after uh, adding this new user 
so you will get a your username as well as password so just copy this uh, username here it will be used for the next app so uh, watch this video very carefully and then uh, just copy a password and paste it here so just come back guys and click on done here so after this done here uh, let me move back here in the users list main menu directory users click the new open title page in the right page more option change organization unit uh, change organization directory opens click features okay now uh, let me go back our users here so our we have been created user of develop so you can see here so now click on this uh, click on this click on the develop ci recently which we have been created and then click on more option click on ch change organization unit here so we must select as a teachers here so we must select the teachers and click on continue here so after uh, continuing click on change here so after changing this uh, task guys so it has been changes towards the uh, teacher side it will be uh, uploaded towards the teachers below teachers so as the next step guys return to users page and click on bulk update users so there will be refresh once here so let me bulk up you can see bulk up update user click on this and copy the download blank CFC template here so wait for a few seconds it will get low, uh, loading so click on save here so our user csv file has been saved here so now guys uh, cancel that and just come back here and click on downloads and you can see users here click on this our spreadsheet be uh, spreadsheet will be open here so uh, you have been remember that what we have been given the name of our first name here so type here dev labs as well as last name is a i so our email address is so take bit long this because our email address is very long so just copy your username here copy this and just come back here and just uh, paste it here so you can see here it is very long so elaborate this uh, column size and then even this password also they and just come back guys you have been seven even the password also just copy this and just come back to a spreadsheet and paste it here and now guys if you have been pasted here so organization unit uh, make sure that uh, click here once here so click this uh, right side slash and uh, type t a c h g r s teachers here teachers and uh, so guys uh, in this guys so uh, one one uh, the, we must operate as a bulk users here so we meet uh, we need at least a 10 or 10 members in this uh, while updating spreadsheet so make sure that click this and uh, make until 10 numbers here so after this update this also for 10 members so after this elaborate for this 10 members here and then update this for uh, 10 members here and this too so before this uh, for organization uh, make sure that type here uh, right side slash here and then update to everything here so we are updating only one single uh, develops ai or username only so no need uh, of this another to be updated so i am giving only the slash and i am not giving to wait to be updated i have been given only one for teachers to be updated here so go to the file here and click on save after saving this file guys just come back here so come back to your lab and uh, uh, click on this bulk update users uh, and click on attach csv file here so click on the users which have been recently saved and click on open here so our csv file has been uploaded here click on this upload uh, button here so wait for a few seconds the bulk upload will be started so you can see the bulk upload users info completed so our next task is here let me check our progress here So guys it takes a bit time guys so before that let me move for task number 3 and let me see so what is there in this so it has been completed guys you can see at task number 2 for everything please make sure that uh, watch this video very carefully and make this video so you will not get any errors uh, while following these steps guys so let me move for task number 3 here so in this task number 3 we must update the account recovery here so just come back to the lab guys and this, click on this show more in the uh, left side here and you can see a more options you click on the security 
under security you can see this authentication click on this below this authentication click on this account recovery here so in this account recovery make sure that so come below here you can see user account recovery click on this pencil icon at the right side here so you can uh, and then um, checkbox will be opened here allow users and non super admins to recover their account uh, check this uh, allow users and click on save here so our uh, security account has been recovered here so let me move back here and let me check our progress for this step also guys at the task number three so at the task number 3 we have been successfully completed yeah, you can see there is no more check my progress here if you need to complete this another step this is an optional they have been only given here so you can see every step has been successfully completed without any errors so this is our lab guys so let us end this lab so before ending this lab please make sure that please like share and subscribe for more updates on devlabs.ai guys let me meet on this next video guys thank you